now with actress Colleen Zink. You may remember her from the CBS soap opera As the World Turns. Played Barbara Ryan. I, married nine times. Nine oh. times. <laughs> Barbara Ryan, Stenbeck Sinclair, Munson, Munson, Dixon, Montgomery, Munson, Stenbeck, Coleman. Wow. Yeah. I may have put one more Munson in there that time because there were three, well, well, three times at Munson. nine. It's hard to, <laughs> hard to keep track. Was, it, was there was there a part of your character because I, I was reading more about you? You've spoken a lot about Barbara Ryan, mm -hmm. so I was reading up a little bit about your take on her character. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so she evolved in stages, didn't? Oh she? yeah, she started out as the you know the the young ingenue, the put upon ingenue. It was the perils of Pauline type of ingenue in the beginning, and then um, a new head writer came in and saw that maybe there might be something more that Colleen Zen could do besides play just the, the doormat. Yeah. And um, literally overnight, I was turned into the home wrecker, um, bitch. <laughs> well, that's, and, a, that's um, a good way to describe yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, and, and she was, and, and she, she really became that kind of home wrecker femme fatale for a number of years, and then she evolved into far more complicated kind of character, which was the best way. Because, you know, well, she'd be good, and then she'd be bad, and then she'd be evil, and then she'd be sympathetic. But it was always about her children. It was always about the best thing for her kids. And this is a, that's a journey for you, too, as an yeah. actress, because yeah. the character evolves, but that means you have to kind of change what you're doing, too. Oh, yeah. And, and of course, I may remain the same as the actor in the character, but you have a revolving door of writers, of directors, of executive producers, and everybody has a different take on the on the character. Not just for me, but for for the entire show. And um, it, eventually, everybody settled into what they wanted, how they wanted to see Barbara, which was the way I wanted her to be played. And I was, you know, I, it, it was a dream role, the dream role. Well, and I do love it. Fashionista, diva, heroine turned homewrecker, evil bitch, mother from Hal Cougar. That's right. <laughs> Like, that's that's exactly lot. right. In 32 years. In 32 years. Wow. Yeah. Which one was the most fun? I think the, I think the last couple of years was the most fun for me, um, because they, uh, I was either playing just the evil one or the one that all the horrible things happened to, but they also used me for the comedy on the show, so I was I I got to play everything, the high drama, all the tears, but then I got to play the comedy. Which you don't find that a lot in any role. I mean, I always said, you know, Meryl Streep got to play all those different kinds of characters over the years. I played her all in one character in three <laughs> decades. You yeah. know? Yeah. Very fortunate. Did you miss her? I miss her terribly. Barbara, not, not Meryl. Um, <laughs> I, I miss Barbara Ryan terribly. And anybody who's played a role for a long time on any show, they will tell you that. That you, ha you ache for going back in those shoes again. I ache for my As the World Turns family. And fortunately, we really were very, very close. So I keep up with everybody. And um, and we get together, and often, either on the phone or over a margarita. Right, <laughs> right Eldo? Uh, That's cool. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Or social media. We can always keep up that way. We do. And, you know, social media has had a great deal to do with how the fans have been able to keep in contact with those of us who, who, who do social media. And the fans have been very supportive of everything that I've done since, which has been primarily theater. Have there, has there been, a, well, and I want to talk about that, but okay. real quick, social media, we've seen all these reboots. What do you think the chances are of a reboot for something like As the World Turns? Zero. Zero. Really? Zero. It won't happen. The, you know, there are a lot of fans out there that think it will happen. For any of these shows, it won't happen. It's about budget. It's about budget. It's about money. They make more money, CBS makes more money on the talk than they did on As the World Turns. And you so know. that's what it comes down to. Comes what, down what do you to do with the, time? the mighty dollar. Yep. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, now let, let's transition okay. to television, to stage, to web. Yeah. So, so tell me a little bit about how that worked for you when you went to the stage. But the stage was always part of your life. Yeah, the stage was part of my life, primarily in my early years. I didn't get to do much of it during the 32 years with that, with uh, Barbara Ryan. Though I did my first time down here with their playing our song was in 83 and I wasn't a mom yet, I wasn't a wife yet, I was just an actor. And so that was a little bit different. But, um, I, I, you know, I've been around long enough that I have people who know what I can do. So I got a phone call before World Turns went off the air asking me to come in and do this off-Broadway musical in New York. 
And I went, you betcha. So I did that. And then that kind of evolved and, and went on from there. Probably my favorite title of the of the five off Broadway shows that I did in the in the following couple of years was um, based on a a book a, a bestseller book from the New York Times bestseller list called Marrying George Clooney. Ooh. Memoirs of a Midlife Crisis, <laughs> and and we turned it into this hilarious comedy called Marrying George Clooney, um, and it it was very funny um, but yeah I've been I've worked regionally in different theaters around the country uh, primarily with either world premieres or with regional premieres um, human race theater in Dayton Ohio I did um, family shots which was a world premiere there but I've also um, two years ago I did a film with with uh, Robert De Niro playing myself um, which was kind of fun <laughs> uh, called the comedian which wasn't a very good film but I played myself <laughs> With Robert De Niro, yeah, and um, and but then I have done a lot of web series too. Yeah. Uh, Thurston, the Western Web, is on Amazon. Uh, After Forever is on Amazon right now. Tainted Dreams is on Amazon right now, and I've done a number of other small films too, which have garnered a ton of um, accolades and awards at different film festivals around. I've been a lucky girl. I've well, been a lucky girl. And now we're lucky that you're here. And I'm back. Illinois, please, I know Molly. I'm back at the Little Theater on the Square. It's going to be great. We have a clip that we want to look uh -oh. at real quick. Okay. <laughs> no, this is from the last time you were here. Oh, my God. That's from the 50th anniversary gala special of Star Studded at Little Theater on the Square in, in 07. And that is um, a featured piece from Sondheim's Follies. There it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you just have a great energy about you. Thank and, you. And you can see that on the stage yeah. too, as well as in person. Thank you. Are you excited about doing this? Uh, this I, is not your I, first time on Hello. No, I'm so excited about doing this. It's a completely different take on the show than it was when I did it 11 years, 13 years ago. Um, but it, 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 it's period, it's 1890. It's not the flashy, splashy Carol Channing kind of beads and baubles, which is the way I did it last time. It's really a period piece and the director Ashton um, Byram is so brilliant in his concept of how he wanted to present um, Yonkers New York and New York in 1890 it's beautiful set designs costume designs everything I'm thrilled to be here and thrilled. a huge star yeah. Colleen oh, Zink uh, yes. working yes. with, with the you. great cast that we always are able to uh, bring into the little theater on the square 15 Colleen. opportunities to, to check her out which is, yep. which is not enough clearly um, Colleen thanks for being here thank you we Good. appreciate it yeah, and best Heather. of luck thank on the you. stage hello Dolly June 20th you've got to get your tickets now little theater on the square this is going to be one heck of a performance we've got the phone number well you know how to call them but we'll connect you on Online, so you can just go right there and get your tickets online over at CILiving.tv. We'll be back with Sun Sunshine Soldier Filming Company next.